All science as well as all dedicated ancestral and migration markers point to the Americas and the Amerindians as the origin of all humans, out of the Americas, and to all roots and all originating, initial cradles, in the Americas. The first significant hybridization since the ancestors is the group B006 that is associated with Denisovans and Neanderthals. You see group B006 right next, down, of the ancestor and you also see that the origin are the Americas before they also appear in the next continents, not in sub-Saharan Africa. As confirmation both Denisovans and Neanderthals fossils were found in the Americas but not in Africa. The only ancestral marker that could be attributed to out of Africa is mtDNAL. mtDNAL fossils were found in the Americas and in Neanderthals that originated in the Americas and are older than the supposed African ancestors, mitochondrial Eve, exactly because of the mtDNAL that was wrongly assumed to have originated in mitochondrial Eve. Also during the Younger Dryas temperatures rose and ocean levels rose and we claim that the Younger Dryas and similar periods were caused by human actions like massive forest destruction and fires as well as massive mining, Dryas octopetala also is an indicator plant for mining, and metallurgy that produced slacks, black mats that are associated also or possibly are most typical for the Younger Dryas, and proxies for wrongly hypothesized meteorite rain. The metallurgic slacks, wrongly interpreted as meteorite proxies, were spread out over hundreds and probably thousands of years and selectively affected places that the younger Dryas population turnover people, Yamner and other peoples also genetically related to the Native Americans, originating in and migrating from the Americas to Eurasia etc., populated, strategic and migration routes from inside the Americas all the way into Eurasia. The miners, metallurgists, warriors, and farmers, part-time pastoralists and hunter-gatherers, that migrated around the time of the younger Dryas used boats, fleet, to cross mainly the North Atlantic making good use of the North Atlantic current. That is roughly what Noah is claimed to have done in the Bible and he did indeed. The ancestral and migrational markers of the descendants of Noah, and domesticated animals he also brought like horses and cattle, confirm the migration from the Americas to Eurasia. As a minor confirmation cuneiform tablets as used by Sumerians, Noah was located where the Sumerians were located pretty much in the same period. Sumer was the region of southern Mesopotamia from 5,4500-1750 BCE that corresponds to modern-day Iraq and Kuwait. Although the word Sumerian is not in the Bible, they did build the city of Yor that is related to Noah just as Mount Ararat is related to Noah. The city of Yor is where Abraham, descendant from Noah, came from. It is possible that Abraham was Sumerian. Sumer was the region's earliest known civilization and ended with the downfall of the third dynasty of Yor around 2004 BCE. It was followed by a transitional period of Amorite states before the rise of Babylonia in the 18th century BCE. What we described superficially was the great impact migration from the Americas to Eurasia etc. and that caused the Younger Dryas and can be recognized as the Younger Dryas boundary and possibly the most intense phase of ocean level rising and diluvium. The involved population turnover event is similar to that which is linked to Noah and the Ark of Noah. Gobekli Teep is attributed to the Younger Dryas period population turnover event that extinct Clovis people in the Americas and similar groups using stone tools in Europe as well as the megafauna globally. The Gobekli Teep was deliberately covered around 8,000 years ago. If it had not been covered so early it most probably would have been destroyed during the late Bronze Age collapse or long before. In the next videos we will further connect with the Bronze Age, bronze, chariots and horses, and Bronze Age collapse, iron, the Romans, and the collapse of Egypt and the involvement of the Sea People and much later the Vikings. These were all waves of migrations from seafaring people with seaworthy and good boats, often also able to carry animals and fodder, coming as early as the Younger Dryas, Boundary, or periodically, Noah, Boitai, Sintashta culture, Karnak on the Atlantic coast of France, Y DNA haplogroup R as proven by researcher and geneticist David Rye by means of ancient DNA and many other, always from the Americas.